we just got covered up in canvas bags. Holy cow. Canvas bags just dumping in out of nowhere now. Good morning, back up in the hills once again. And it's been tough hunting lately. This whole past week we had 90 degree temps. Right before duck season opened, we had north winds and a big front move through and full moon for like four days in a row. And a lot of the locals pushed out. So there's not a ton of birds around. I mean, there's there's quite a few still around, but nowhere near what you know what is usual this time of year up here. So it's been tough. It's been really tough. Had a big front move through yesterday. Thought there'd be some birds before it. Not really a ton. Hopefully now, fingers crossed, there'll be some behind it. So heading out with my buddy Tyler and his boys and we're hunting an entirely new spot to me. Never hunted here before. And hopefully, that's, that's the ticket. Hopefully this front is what we needed to bring some more birds in. All right, that's time. A few birds flying around already. A little bit after shooting light. We had a few buzz us, but just not close enough. There was quite a few divers on here first thing. They all took off, but not really a lot flying yet. Do we want to shoot them when they come over us? They're gonna be pretty tall. <laughs> We want to shoot him on. Shoot him on the swing. Ready? Woo! Skunk is off. I saw that Drake. I missed. I missed the Drake. I saw that Drake. Yeah, we did. It's no more skunk, huh? Is that that first bird? That wood I don't, look at them all dumping in now. We got ducks everywhere. Where did these all come from? Yeah, man. More, more to the left. I'll watch these out front. Right here, right here, right here. Tell them right here. Oh. What was that? Cam's back. I gotta go forward here. Right behind us. Do it. I should have, yeah. Come right out, out behind us. They're landing behind us now, too. Man, I should be, sh I should just shoot one of these right here. I'm gonna go out and get that bird for you just in case a bird flies okay. by. I'll be out there. Yeah, you might chuck some of those mount those mallards out further. Maybe that'd help pull them over this way a little more. You're gonna have a shot here, Tyler. Dad, get here. Nice. Yeah, we both got cams backs. I love cams. They're cool, aren't they? So out of nowhere, we just got covered up in canvas backs, and they just keep buzzing around and I did not bring my diver decoys and there he is it's a nice stud bull can it's gorgeous tree what'd you guys think of that yeah that's a nice one ain't he Well, let's get some more, huh? That's a stud bull. Look at that. That's a nice one, Dad. Well, two more and we'll have our limit. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Mm -hmm. 
Ruddy's Ruddy duck. Ruddy, huh? Yep. I don't need to shoot a ruddy duck. Is that he was right here. Yeah, he flew right over us. Oh, they landed back there. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler, are you, are you shooting? Oh. Got him. We got one. I think he's not going anywhere. There's Tyler's second cams back. That's his limit. Still quite a few around. Oh wow, that's a really pretty one. Yeah. Show Matt. Show the camera. Yeah, hold him up. Look at that. That's a nice one. All right, let's get one more can in here. Yeah. Call that a limit. He got tall. <laughs> Come on. Widgeon. He came in nice. Oh, what do we got here? Got some other ducks off the pond. <sighs> There he is, a nice old Drake widgeon. Look at his sprig on him. He's not as as pretty, but got him. He dumped in. That's what they're supposed to do. Cam's backs are not doing that. And we haven't seen a lot of other ducks other than widgeon and cam's back. So number two though, he decoyed pretty. I'd be okay with a bunch more widgeon coming in or even some canvas backs, but the puddle ducks, I'm sure if they're around now, they would decoy in here. But now that we got this wind finally where we want it. Cause he, he hooked over and I thought, oh man, he's gonna land out there. And then he came right in. That was, that was what you want him to do. Here we go. Yeah, that was bad. Right here, right here, right here. Can limit, they decoy. Look, there's still one out here. They decoyed. Finally. Whoo! Heck yes, there's a bunch of ducks flying now. Okay, see, that's how I want it done. I want the cam backs decoying in. And those ones finally did it, took all day. Another can, not as pretty as the other one, but I knew he was a drake. They were decoying right here. We got this chop finally coming through here. And that was the ticket. There we go. Had the drake widgeon decoy and not Five minutes later, a bunch of cans start coming in, and there's some widgeon flying around, and four cams backs come and decoy right into the spread. I even shot this one, and there was another one. He, he landed, he didn't want to get up until he got out of my blind. So Tyler and I are both limited down cams backs, and I have a bonus widgeon. 11.30, we're calling her a day. Not a bad day. We both limited out on cams backs, Tyler and I did. And then uh, had that one widgeon come in, and Tyler went out, took his boys for a little jump shoot right before all the mother ducks that I shot came in. And he ended up with a Drake Pintail, Drake Mallard, Drake Gadwall, and then the two canvas backs he shot here. So we ended with eight birds on the, on the day, not a bad day. And usually I've been jinxing ourselves when I say this, but we, when we got the wind, we got the birds. I mean, we, there was some when it was kind of dead calm first thing, but they weren't really working as good. And then once we got this really stiff wind at our back, we had widgeon decoy, we had cam specs decoy, we had other birds looking, so I'm sure if we stayed out here all day we could finish our limits, but we're just going to call it a day, not get too greedy, and we'll try again next weekend. What'd you guys think of today? You have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Do you love coming to the sand hills? Yeah, you do. Well, once again, thanks for the invite. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping for some new birds last night, but 
that's the way it goes. Back. Oh yeah, <laughs> cans are fun. Yeah, that was sure. that was awesome. I'm sure all you guys think I, all I do is jump shoot, but I do love to decoy. <laughs> but I'm an opportunist. Yeah, I just here. I just love to hunt. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and be sure you're out there and support those conservation organizations, Ducks Unlimited, Delta Waterfowl, Pheasants Forever. It doesn't matter. There's one out there for you, and they do a ton of good work. So be sure to go out there and support them. And we'll catch you out there, guys. See ya.